Welcome to the Build Chronicle. Today, we explore one of the most breathtaking and ambitious infrastructure projects in India's history, the Coastal Highway Project, a massive highway system that will stretch all the way from Gujarat to Kanyakumari, connecting India's western coastline through some of the most scenic and economically vital regions in the country. This project isn't just about building a road. It's about connecting coastal communities, promoting trade, tourism, and national security, and unlocking the full potential of India's 7,500-kilometer-long coastline. India's coastline, stretching from Gujarat to Tamil Nadu, is rich in diversity but has long suffered from poor connectivity. The Coastal Highway Project, launched under Bharatmala Pariyajana, aims to change this by creating a seamless highway from Manvi in Gujarat to Kanyakumari, transforming travel, trade, and tourism along India's western and southern shores. The Coastal Highway, about 1,400 kilometers long, spans Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. Strategically, it strengthens connectivity to ports and naval bases along the Arabian Sea, enhancing maritime security. Economically, it links major hubs like Mandra, Mumbai, Mangaluru, Kochi, and Thuthukudi, boosting trade, tourism, and fisheries, while also opening up opportunities for smaller coastal towns and villages. Project Alignment, Gujarat Segment The coastal highway begins at Manvi, near the Ran of Kutch, tracing the Gulf of Kutch and Gulf of Kumbat. This stretch connects major ports like Kandla, Mundra, Dahej, and Hajira, while linking SEZs, petrochemical hubs, and fishing harbors, emphasizing Gujarat's role as an industrial and maritime gateway before the highway enters Maharashtra. Maharashtra Segment In Maharashtra, the highway winds along the Konkan coast, passing Ullabagh, Ratnagiri, and Sindhudurg. Several sea bridges, tunnels, and bypasses are planned to navigate the hilly terrain and rivers. It links directly with Mumbai's coastal road network and NH-66, ensuring smooth connectivity from Gujarat to Goa. Key infrastructure like the Versova, Bandra Sea Link, Mumbai Coastal Road, and Trans Harbour Link positions Mumbai as the central hub of the Western Coastal Corridor. Karnataka segment Once it crosses into Karnataka, the route follows the pristine Karavali coast, connecting Karvar, Budupi, and Mangaluru. This section is critical because it links major ports like New Mangalore Port and upcoming fishing and cargo terminals, while also promoting tourism and marine industries. Kerala Segment The highway traces Kerala's scenic coastline, connecting Bikal, Kojikode, Kochi, Alapuza, and Kalam. Running parallel to NH-66, it features bypasses and elevated corridors to ease urban congestion. The state plans to integrate it with coastal tourism circuits, making this stretch a potential global attraction for coastal drives. Tamil Nadu segment Finally, the route will enter Tamil Nadu, connecting Major Coil and culminating at Kanyakumari, India's southernmost point. Here, the highway will link to the East Coast Road, ECR, and NH-44, creating a continuous coastal connection from Dvarka in Gujarat to Kanyakumari, effectively uniting the entire western and southern coastal belt. The Coastal Highway Project involves advanced engineering solutions to overcome geographical and environmental challenges. See bridges and causeways to cross inlets, creeks, and estuaries. Tunnels through hilly terrains of the Konkan and Western Ghats. Elevated corridors to avoid flooding and protect sensitive ecosystems. Four-lane and six-lane alignments, with service roads and emergency corridors for disaster management. The coastal highway will transform India's western coastline into a continuous economic corridor. Tourism boom, it will enable world-class coastal tourism, from Gujarat's beaches and Goa's resorts to Kerala's backwaters. Trade efficiency, faster movement between ports like Mandra, JNPT, Mangalore, Kochi, and Thuthukudi will boost exports and reduce logistics costs. Fisheries and local economies, better road access to coastal villages will improve fish transport, cold storage, and export logistics. Defense connectivity, the highway will strengthen India's coastal surveillance and naval logistics network, 
supporting key bases across the western seaboard. Employment generation, the project is expected to create over 2 lakh direct and indirect jobs during construction and post-completion. However, building a highway along a coastline comes with immense challenges. Land acquisition, the narrow coastal belt has limited space between the sea and settlements. Acquiring land while minimizing displacement is a major task. Environmental clearance, the project passes through ecologically sensitive areas, mangroves, wetlands, and coastal dunes, requiring careful design and strict environmental compliance. Terrain and climate, frequent flooding, soil erosion, and monsoon impacts demand special materials and designs. Coordination among states, since the project spans five states, interstate coordination for standards and alignment is vital. Despite these challenges, the government and NHAI are pushing forward, using satellite mapping, LIDAR surveys, and digital twin technologies to plan alignments efficiently. As of October 2025, the coastal highway is advancing under Bharatmala Phase 2. Gujarat and Maharashtra lead in progress, with surveys done in sections of NH-66 being upgraded, including bridges. Kerala has alignment clearance, with construction started between Kojikode and Kochi, while Karnataka and Tamil Nadu are in planning and assessment stages. Once complete, the highway will integrate ports, industrial corridors, and inland transport, complementing the Sagarmala program. The Coastal Highway Project is more than an engineering marvel, it's a celebration of India's geography, culture, and ambition. It promises to open new doors for trade, tourism, and development while ensuring resilience against coastal vulnerabilities. From Gujarat's industrial shores to the serene waves of Kanyakumari, this project is set to redefine how India connects with its coastline, making travel faster, safer, and far more scenic than ever before. Thank you for watching the Build Chronicle. If you enjoyed this deep dive into India's coastal highway project, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on India's most ambitious infrastructure stories. Until next time, keep watching the Build Chronicle, where we bring the nation's biggest builds to life.